verifying login server. Season system is here. Oh, that, that's real. Um, ninety four percent English. So, what is this? This is Russians, French. Chinese, German, okay. 0 0.3 Swedish. Let's increase that, man. I guess it's the learning the game. I guess we can do that. Check out the basics. Okay. Units with flashing green bases can move. Select a unit with the left mouse button. Click on assigned unit again to move it. Try putting a battle position on units. Okay. How does one start? Oh, there was a guy behind those. I didn't even see that. My bad. Okay. Never mind. We win. GG. Give me credits. Okay. Unlocking and purchasing units. Let's go. Click on the plus button in the lower right corner, okay? Tax the unit unlock interface. You can lock one unit per round. Lock the arc light, which excels at combat against group different crawls. Excels at combat against groups, okay? Um, two units per round. I'm using count dash to defeat the enemy. Okay. I want to know the arc light. Where's the arc light? This one. Okay. I'll get that one. Just two units. Where do you do that? Lower right corner. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure if this is the best setup, but let's try. Can only buy one unit though. Okay, that's not good. That was the wrong way to do it, apparently. Unlock the arc light. Why is the arc light good against... Against groups, though? It should read the arc light. Medium anti-swarm bots. 
Fire energy beam that can make short work of light units. Okay. I don't know why, but okay, let's place that and see what happens. And you take care of that guy, I guess. Okay, so he has some... Didn't look like he had some kind of AoE before, but okay. The sound effects on this game is freaking out insanely good, man. Upgrading unit and activating tech. Okay. Click on scene to reveal its attribute in the lower left corner. Okay. You can upgrade a unit's rank there. You can even activate its unit's tech here. Tech affects all units of the same type. Trap can arc like to activate anti-aircraft ammunition. Okay. I guess we want to do the promote. Why doesn't it say the unit type here? Maybe. Okay, it does. Okay, never mind. Um. We can activate a unit tech there. This one? Air on ground. Okay. Oh, we don't have any more credits. Huh. I'm not sure if this is good. I guess we try. I feel like this guy's gonna die. Oh wait. Oh, it upgraded the boat. Never mind. Whoever made the sound effects for this game is freaking insane, man. So spot on, man. Why is it scrolling left and right here? What? That, that, that shouldn't be it. That shouldn't be a thing. What is this tutorial part then? Uh, watch a sentry missile from the lower right corner of the screen. Well... Sentinels are powerful single-use weapons, enemies are ultimate targets, enemy in the end of the range. Enemies hit by sentry missile take massive damage on a slow, train on the enemy with sentry missile. Got that one, okay. Oh, okay. Marksman is doing some work, man. Okay. Offensive skills. Let's go. You will sometimes obtain powerful battlefield powers. Try using the incinerator bombs on the left of the screen to defeat the enemy. Okay. Sorry, 
sorry, audio. Wow, that was loud. That was loud. But holy crap, it was good. <laughs> Damn. Now we won. Uh, oh, that wasn't that complicated. But man, was that loud. Uh, destroying core buildings. Okay. Every player has two core buildings. Destroying an enemy build core building paralyzes enemy units. Paralyzed units have their attack, defense, and movement speed greatly reduced. Try to move a unit to destroy the enemy core building. Okay. How do you rotate a unit? R? No? Not R. Not scroll wheel, not right click. Oh, it happened recently, yeah. Oh, whatever. Let's figure it out. We cannot move those. Okay. Split up. Okay. What is this one? Uh, importance of unit counters. Okay. Every unit has a special build. Special. Speciality, okay. Vulcan excels at dealing with large groups of light units. Okay. Melting point specialist in stopping medium and heavy units with high HP. Under supplies, try unlocking and purchasing the right unit. Use unit count to defeat enemy. Okay, so. So the melting pot should be on this side. Um, damn. Vulcan excels at large groups of light units, so he should be on this side. Check. Hundred credits. Can we upgrade anything? No. Um. Which side needs help, though? Most. It doesn't say how much hit points the unit has and so on. Let's just go with the all purpose bot, I guess. Which side needs most help? Um, let's go with this side. Flamethrowers, nice, okay. Well, that was an easy win. Not sure if I did the right purchase, though. It's, I feel like the, the unit I purchased didn't do that much. There's your meat shields. Uh, tech combinations, okay. The tech of different units sometimes cause chain reaction. Try activating Vulcan and Marksman tech. Uh, okay. Let's 
At the beginning of combat, summon one marksman the same rank as the Vulcan to fight me? Okay. Summon five fangs, the same one as the marksman. Okay. Do I need to change anything now? I can't remove anything. Never mind. Okay. So you guys gonna summon units? Okay, nice. Some losses, but we prevail at least. I feel like it's gonna be so many units, it's gonna be a little bit difficult in the beginning to keep track of everything. Energy shields. Put energy shield device from the low tech. Uh, corner of the screen can provide protect your range damage. Once the shield it will permanently disappear. Okay. So you do store the show or what? Can I buy two shields? I'm kind of curious here. Oh, he's gonna die. I'm kind of curious here, man. That was probably a bad test, but... I wanna see how the double shield works. The shield also works against... Uh, these thing. Okay, okay. So we should probably just put a shield on each. I assume. We can move this, okay. I mean, why should I not? Oh, I can only move one of them. Why, why not place them next to each other and use double shield then? Isn't that better? Oh, I'm too far away from those. Okay, got it. Can I retry? Uh, let's just see what happens instead. Oh. Okay. Let's try again. I mean, we could try and buy other stuff also. How much? But we can't buy anything, so it doesn't really matter. I feel like this is still wrong, though. I oh, know it's an arc dog. Never mind. Yeah, that should win then.
Okay. Uh, where are we? Transfer skills? Did it say that? Or kills? Transference kills, okay. Your skills cannot be used in the vicinity of the enemy core building. They are around the core building. Uh, okay. It's like a teleport, or what is that? Air drops on energy shield with them, which be. I mean, on the image, it just looked like I should do this and something and this. Still not sure what that is. It seems like it used to be a shield. What's the difference? I understood that I spawned the unit back here, but I'm not sure what this just felt like a shield. Level two. Whoa. Awesome. Okay, four more to go. Attacking from flank and rear. Oh, from a second, so you can place down here. Okay. From a second round, you can deploy squads at enemy flank. Locate weaknesses in the enemy's flank or rear. Defenses. Try and destroy the enemy's core building from the flank and rear. Okay. Um. Can I move it? I don't still feel like this is right, though. This is an arc light. This eats. Uh, I mean, we have no other points or anything. Okay, see what happens. So it takes a few seconds for them to spawn in, then, okay? Maybe probably win, but still.
Better place them in the top right corner then, is that a thing? So they even see them before they come in then, okay? Nope, that was not the right way to do it either. I don't think so, at least. can we do differently we tried left we tried tried right there's no option to buy anything okay so what is this video show the video show almost the same thing i didn't start the only difference is it placed them over here somewhere instead of over here okay see if that matters Sure, it got faster for this thing. Maybe that matters. Oh. Maybe it lost a tiny bit more HP, but it wasn't that big deal difference. I guess this have a little tiny bit more HP than last time. Don't get too close, man. Okay, it was better apparently, but really sure why so it was like saved like half a second maybe in the running overcoming a counter okay then we plans to use Vulcans to counter our crawlers unlock and purchase units which high HP counter them to enemy Vulcans yeah, well, now you already show me melters. Or melting points. I mean... How do you know how much HP one has, though? The bane of all high HP units. I mean, the game is telling me to do this, so I'll do it, I guess. Wow, that was, that was a horrible start. Yeah, that was a horrible s or maybe not actually
Yeah, it looks bad. But the game told me to buy melting points. Hmm. What can we do? It said high HP. Unlock and purchase units with high HP. Oh, no, that's not. Yeah, they're melting points. I can see the name on it. Melting points. The only difference is they sat at me in front, though. Okay, we can try that. So they did this instead. That's the difference. I should also display the range. Let me actually do that. Never mind. I do display the range. Absolutely my bad. That should display the range before you set them down though. Okay. What a difference. <laughs> the place was like, was definitely night and day, man. Holy crap. Okay. Ah, oh, placement is important. Got it. Defending against enemy flanks. Uh, let's see what we have here. Hostile aerial units are attempting to launch an assault from your flank and rear. Move your anti-air units to defend your forces while a unit is being moved. What? While a unit is being moved, use the middle mouse button to modify it for the... Oh, middle mouse button? Okay. That was the button we never tried before. So WASP are light aircraft. Okay, and these are... Air and ground, okay. And what's the range on this? Nothing mirror here, okay. That marks my man. Sweet unit. Okay. Was that the last one? No. Was it? Now oh, this is the last one. Okay, got it. Some plus enemy forces are composed of multiple units and with different characteristics. That word, man. Steel balls and muslings are classic combinations. Take advantage of unit counters to crush the combination, okay? Steel balls and mustangs, okay? I mean, I'm not gonna know. I'm just gonna do what it tells me, basically. There's Mustangs. What do we do? We have. Hmm. So 
So they have steel ball and okay, so I need to deal with that. That's the plan. Okay, so they're high speed all purpose tanks, okay? And steel balls are high speed anti anti unit bot? Uh anti what do you mean by anti unit? Okay. Take advantage of unit counters. Okay. Hello, welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, but it doesn't tell me a good way to counter it. And if you know the answer, don't tell me. I'm not asking for to know the answer, so... I'm trying to figure it out myself. Welcome to stream, though. We have arc lights, which is not a good against this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. I'm I'm guessing in the beginning of this game it's gonna be a a lot to unpack and learn every unit. You can deal splash damage in a small area, medium and long range. Let's try that. How much credits we have? Yeah, we can buy two of those. Let's see if this works. Hmm. See me fail, I guess. <laughs> oh, the arc lights works pretty good against them also, okay. That seems to be working. Okay, I guess that worked. I'm not sure if that was the best answer, but it was an answer that worked at least. And that was all of the tutorials, I think. Nothing page two, no. And I, I don't understand what I have it's page two, it's just bad. Bad UI. Uh oh wait, that was what is this? Uh persist until the end of achieve victory against enemy that is shown every round, receive bonus supplies each round. Based on damage, delta, HP, uh, unique experience. Okay, so these are very easy. Okay, let's try. Fangs tells me nothing. Light, all purpose, okay? Steel balls, fangs, fangs, steel balls. And we have what? Storm colors, heavy rocket launchers. Yeah, I'm probably going to play all the tutorials. I mean, learning the game is probably way better to do than jumping into PvP and you just get your ass stomped. That's not going to be a fun experience, so it's better to learn the game. And by the way, helping me is an AI. Just ignore him if you don't want to. Um, But okay, so they we have heavy rocket launchers. 
Basically, we just want some meat shields or what? <clears throat> Medium and the swarm. Oh, that's arc light. Okay, okay. What's the movement speed? Uh, seven. This one, okay. Okay. Yeah, so what do we have here? We have... We want something good against a lot of units. Flash damage. Hmm. Wait, do they have any air stuff? Or oh, they have air stuff. Ah, crap. Okay. Mustang. High speed, long range. Fragile. That doesn't sound good. Are we going with the tank again? Actually, we can't afford it. Everything costs 200 above, right? Yeah. So, if we're gonna unlock something, we can only unlock these three, basically. It's probably better to buy what we already have, then. Is there any way to change targets besides uh, different locations? Okay, let's try it. I'm not sure what these are targeting, but we'll figure it out. Trial and error, man. Those ball things look still nasty. Okay. So those balls are an issue for sure, okay. Do we beat the balls? Oh. Okay. Yep, yep. I just realized that. Fine. Uh, wow. Okay. It means I'll take two squads of rank fangs. Light all purpose. I think I want the tanks. Two squads of rank one sledgehammer. Okay. So can you see what enemy has gotten or what? Crawlers? Wait, everything is new. Oh. I've seen uh, I've seen a little bit on Twitch. 
And in that mode, in the normal PvP mode, I guess, that the, the units don't change. But I guess this is the tutorial, so you don't learn. So it's you. Things change around so you can counter stuff. Okay, light melee. Ah, this wasn't meant to be very easy, man. Holy crap, it's not. Should we just buy the arc light? This feels wrong. Everything is our speed here. 16. These are fast motherfuckers. Okay. Okay, okay. So, enemy has a lot of fast stuff, it looks like. This one is slow, though, but that's the only one, right? Um... Where the anti-air? Ground only, air and ground. Air and ground, ground, air and ground. Huge cannon that cause massive damage to swarm units. That could be. I bet you only get one though. Low cost and available large quantity cells, dealing considerable damage at medium and long range. Medium at long range. This could probably be close range. Let's try a scorpion. See what happens. Oh, there's a unit behind me also. Wow, I didn't even notice them. Nice. Um, great. Oh, this is gonna go bad. Is there a regret button? Nope. Oh, okay. Would be nice, so if you place a unit here, and if you want to place it exactly mirror, it should place, uh, like, a little outline box where this exact is opposite here. That would be nice. Seems to be almost the same. That's probably one square off, though. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we got 150 credits. Uh, I can't buy any more units. Oh, yeah, true. You can only buy two units. Okay. And I can't move those units. Okay. Shut up. I guess the right... Let's just place it behind here. Help taking care of those units first. I cannot wait, but I, okay. Or we can buy it. You know, let's do that instead. Oh, we can buy several? Oh, okay. Not sure if that is good, but let's try. I have more credits, why not use them, I guess.
Yeah, okay. I didn't see what happened in the middle, though. Okay. I want smoother. <laughs> oh, I have to keep... How many times do I need to win then? Um, oh yeah, hide panel, you said. Wow, okay. Gave you the rules for the survival through the number of rounds. Okay, I didn't see. Do you remember it? Would be nice if they said like round three out of three or something like that. But I guess it's only happened once a tour. Uh, you can upgrade this, I guess. Uh, okay, let's, let's let's go for it. We can't move with those. It might be a bad thing. I don't know. Attack by 300%. Oh, but shoots slower. Nah. Uh, range? Probably not. That's a lot of credits for, for doing a tiny upgrade. I can afford to. I feel like, isn't this <laughs> the best of doing all the time? Well, it feels a little bit cheesy, I gotta say. Especially when they're so concentrated. Four out of X would be nice. Okay. Fang, Fang, Mustang. No ambushes, whatever to call it. Vulcan. Repairing thing. 4.5 second HP per second. Okay. Oh. Um... Increase the range of all units. <laughs> yeah, uh, huh. All units? This is pretty good. Oh, these costs. Oh. You know, range is probably good. How do we deal? Do we have a melting pot thingamajig? <clears throat> yeah, 
I got 20 credits. Great. I mean, he might get into the battle too late, I guess. Could be an issue. Yeah, upgrading him was probably a mistake. Okay, seems to be smooth. Okay, that seems to be easy. Yeah, of course, it's definitely a learning experience. Okay, what do we have? Some heavy tank thing. There's no armor in the game, is there? HP? I don't see any armor or anything, right? Like small units don't do damage to people with a lot of armor or something like that. Shields, okay. Oh, what is that? The range of units equipped with this item increased by 20 meters. Armor, there is tech upgrade. Okay, but default units don't have armor, then it's just a special item, so to speak. 70% extra. Wow, it's gonna be an issue. Enemies seem to have a lot of range stuff. Um, oh, yeah, and I bought the melting pot back here. Great. Great. So, how do I see the range? Which one was that? 170, this one, okay. 195, 90. 195, ugh. 110, 90. What had 190 then? Storm colors. Maybe we should try something else like that. Maybe? Storm colors. This is storm color, right? Yeah. Let's try and get storm colors. Um. No, the tutorial didn't tell me anything. Uh, sticker oil bombs. Allow it to use field recovery strategies. Attack by about 12%. HP of all units? Okay, okay. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm in here. My bad. I'm in here, apparently. Six squads of rank one wasps? How was the on flying? Ground. Air and ground. I feel like he has... I mean, the problem is, this has air and ground, but it doesn't tell me how good they are against air and ground, though. That's the issue. <sighs> uh, 
heavy unit equipped with two rapid fire cannons can fight variation at medium range. Let's go with that. Wow, they're slow. Okay. How much HP do they have? 62,000. Fire two spider mines with 7 HP every 15 seconds, spider mines. But show that I'm in self destruct, dealing damage. Um. Hmm. You know, give me spider mines. Give me that. That sounds cool. What did I want? I wanted to get range was the plan, right? Uh, how much range did this thing have? 110. Storm colors, 190. Give me those. I want more range. See if this works. I don't feel like I'm clustering everything up, man. Oh yeah, we were looking at this. Crap, I forgot. What can this one do then? 200 supplies and get 300... Oh... Okay. Number of units that can be purchased this round. This round or each round? Well, it says this round. This is only temporarily buffed, so what? Wait, was this also temporary buffs? No, this is permanent. Okay. Destroy your destiny squad or our force to receive full refound supply. Oh. Okay. You know, let's just try this. We have a... Uh, we can... Hmm. Those gonna get chewed up, that shouldn't be an issue. Eh, let's go. He's definitely tanking. A melter point, man. It's so slow. I don't think it's fired once. Has it? There's no way to see did most damage that round or something like that? Whoa, what? What about these? Experimental arc light? Uh, okay.
summon one overlord to attack the enemy. Uh, there is an experimental unit, the normal unit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got that part. It's like, yeah, this is just the boss mode, so to speak, or whatever they call it. But thanks for letting me know, though, if I didn't get that. I guess... Summon one overlord? This is only temporarily, right? You get it in one fight, or every third fight, so to speak. Let's try some flying. We haven't bought any flying units. What happened? Where did the flying units go? Uh. Hmm. What did I buy? Did I make something? Interference hit temporary disabling the target's unit tech and decrease the movement speed by four. Wait, maybe I wasted a lot of money now. Um, so you can only have six different unit types? Okay. I'm wondering if you should buy more Melta points now. Or if you just should buy Trash Army for the front. Oh, Trash Army probably bad against these. Hmm. Do we just buy two multi points? I don't feel like it's gonna be. Good. We can we just try two multi points. Let's go, man. We place this a little bit further up, I guess. Not sure if I call this further up though, but let. Me What can we get for 140? Oh. Okay, the multi points is gonna die. Okay. Why did it change target though? I uh, deployed it, it aimed for that one. I guess it changes target to whatever is closest. Makes sense. Never mind. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a messy one. Looking good on the left side, huh? horrible on the right side. Yeah, it looks like a loss, though. Interference model increase. This uh, may be to electrical interference. No. No. Increase the damage center missile device. Oh, 
Oh, this is a tech upgrade, not a unit upgrade. Okay, so that's probably what we got with the other thing before then. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. I think we use missing crap units, so to speak. Screw that, give me a storm callers instead. What is this? Uh, gr uh, so this green squares here. There's yellow squares. So what does the yellow square mean? Oh, we can't do mirror. Okay. Fifty. Okay, why not? Ninety credits. I don't think we can get anything with that, right? Oh yeah, this thing. Missile. Looking fine, right? Do we have anything against air? Thinking about it. Can you shoot at air? Ground only. Okay, the melting pot can shoot air. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. Gonna die to air. Maybe? Actually, maybe. Good job, Malta Point. No! <laughs> Crap. I'm gonna die to one flyer. Great. Great. Air and ground, ground, air and ground, air and ground. Um, a giant flying deck sells a deal massive splash damage in medium and long range. Let's get that. I didn't check at all what he had. I just went. Give me. Incinerary rounds? Probably what? No, not on this map. Wait, they can have seven units now? Oh. Uh, two ground only cannons have a range. Okay. Produce four wasps. Everything I have is ground only, man. We need to unlock something and shoot that air. Um, right, right. Uh, multiple floating cannons can cause a lot of damage in medium and short range. Hacker, no. 
Phoenix. Long range, high damage, next is a strike enemy. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, damn cool. Uh, they just place them randomly somewhere. Let's go. I think his multi point is way better than mine. Okay. Oh yeah. Damn, those multi points hurt, man. Okay. Ouch. We're almost dead, man. Okay. The number of units that can be deployed increased one each round. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Ground only. Yeah, I don't know what to get, man. I was gonna buy sheet units, but he has arc lights. So I guess that's not a good idea. Long range? No. Um. High speed melee units can fight in a group. There can be a source of terrifying damage. The group remains intact. Increase movement speed by three. Oh, wait, that's upgrades I'm reading. Rhinos. Steel balls. Maybe that's the thing. Yeah, let's try that. Just trying things, man. Maybe I can absorb some damage. Actually, can I, can I undo that purchase? I cannot. Great. Um. No. HP all units. Yeah, I should probably should have done this more.
That's not good. Look decent until you destroy the two bases or whatever you call them. Oh, and this was meant to be very easy. Great. View battlefield, okay. <laughs> uh, do you have any suggestions of what I did wrong, so to speak? And before, besides messing up all my units and not knowing what's good against what and so on. No chef? What is chef? Small units, okay. Yeah, I, I noticed that too, but I didn't know what are good damage absorbers, so to speak, if you would recommend anything. Community challenge, practice, testing grounds, unit modification. Replicate? What do you mean, replicate? Oh, is this... Okay. So what is this? So this is 24 with HP 292, okay? Bang. Eighteen, but only half. Oh, okay. Mustang. Can I spin? I can. Cool. Nice. Okay, it has a sting. Oh, it's a wasp. Cool. Um. Uh, So, is Crawler the basic unit or what? That's melee only though. But this seems to be very... A lot of HP and a lot of units. The Crawler seems to be good for absorbing damage. What is this? I mean, sure, they can only be ground, uh, they only melee. That's the downside with them, I guess. So, what are these things? These are the upgrades you can buy in game, right? These four. Can I replace them with these or what?
And how do you get these points? Create more crawlers? Okay. But how do you get these atomic points or whatever you call them? Yeah, I have three. How do I get more? I don't want to spend things for each day. They're really hard to get. Leveling. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, let's hide UI. How do I get the UI back? Okay. Okay, let's look here. So we know the crawlers is good default unit and check. Um these are what? Are they flamethrowers? Doesn't say they have flamethrower, does it? But it looks like it. Maybe it's just a normal gun. Increase range by 40? That's a lot. What? Oh. Portable shield? Wow, okay. So these can be pretty good at uh, absorbing damage also. I guess 500 credits is a lot, a lot though. And... The depth, you have to learn all the units. Semi-what? Somewhat good? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. But also nice to know versus the AI what's good and not to do, so to speak. Wait, AI bot not survival? What is the difference? Oh, so you don't remember survival, you wreck AI bot? This one or what? Practice. Okay, let's trust this is them. And I'm guessing here um, the layout of the enemy units don't change between the rounds. Is that the difference or what? Oh, okay. What's this? Select the initial lineup. Uh, area units no longer consume supplies when being unlocked. Increase their attack power by 13% and HP by 13. Okay. Obtain additional supply per round. Movement speed of all units. Ooh. And he has these as... Maybe we should go with that guy or girl, I guess. Uh, this also had crawlers, though. You know, I'm going to go with the Ariel one. That's probably a bad choice, but... Okay. We're going with this one. Arc units and steel balls. Is that it? Steel balls. Arc light. Okay. okay. 
So when I see units, uh, will they add any units when I press and deploy? I assume yes, but I'm not sure. Yes, you say. Uh, they have the same movement speed. But I'm guessing these should be in the front. We just place one here. Why can I not place stuff over here? Or here? We buy something and place it there instead. Around two flanks of. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Um. We have not tried the sniper or the marksman, maybe it's called. Oh, wait, we had. Can this shoot against flyers? I cannot. Okay, never mind. Let's trust out the flyers. Crap. Can I see uh, which leader I picked? Somehow? Okay, I picked this one, Specialist. Okay, I didn't pick the air one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I just found. Thank you, anyway. Uh, so we did not pick the aerial one. Let's go with the sniper then, I guess. Is it too aggressive to place them up? Really in the front? You know what? One well, way to try and learn, I guess. Be gonna be super aggressive this round, man. Just do it. Yeah, exactly. Just do it, man. Maybe the ball should be afterwards, I guess. How fast are these? 11. That's probably fine. Man, I wish I could just display mirror location. That's not mirror, and that's not quite well, actually, that's mirror. Never mind. Okay, he placed a lot of more units. Okay. It's looking bad. Maybe the snipers can do something. I don't think so, though. Damn, okay. What do we change? Hey man, thanks for popping by man. Have a good one. Thanks for helping you out with uh, the, some basic things. I appreciate it buddy. Have a good one.
You just buy more. Oh, actually, can we level up these maybe? <clears throat> Acid crawlers, let's go. More crawlers. More crawlers for the public. Probably bad against orcs, but let's do it, man. Oh, wait, it's this unlocked. You know, let's try. Yeah, let's keep them there, actually. I guess we can't buy anything for 50. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this thing. Also. Oh, okay. Who wins crawl over the steel balls? Oh, they can shoot me before I come in. Okay, great to know. What? Took out that shit? Looking good. We seem to be winning this round. But I think we need more uh, cannon fodder. Improved wrath, attack, and range. But increase recruitment cost by 50. Should we try and buy some wrath? We haven't bought one, eh? Uh, increase the attack, fortress attack by 20%. Moon speed by 3, but decreases range. Now, let's try, let's try and get some right, right. Wrath, right, read. I don't know. Um, where's those? This one? Give me one of those. And upgrade HP. And attack. We have no credits to do anything. Okay. This one is... I'm gonna try and focus on the right side, I feel like. That's the main focus. Oh, well, let's try man. This thing worked out good though. Oh, we can level them up. Oh, well, almost. That's gonna win again, that's good. Okay, that works. Hmm. Is this an the attack of units equipped with this item is equipped by fifty percent while HP is decreased? No. Well. Hmm. So that you should probably give to some kind of range unit. Really good range unit. Let's upgrade those. What can you get? We have... Yeah, we need to buy... More HP.
350 should get another Wraith. I uh, like them. Actually, did real good. What are these numbers? Round. Oh, there is round damage kills. 16 and 5. 23. 56. Okay, so this is the last round's damage. Okay. Interesting. So it's kills total or kills last round? I would love to get this upgrade, but I need more units, man. Uh, let's get another... Another Wraith, I guess. What do we actually let's wait with that? It's still on challenge, man. That's freaking awesome. the shield of any device 40% um hack now ooh increase war factor hp by 40% i'm going to get this man war factor let's get one War Factor, where are you? Oh, uh, cost a thousand credits to buy? Okay, let's get it. <laughs> let's unlock it at least. Um, I mean, everything seems to be working so far. Okay, you can get more range somehow. Each attack fires two bullets. Range. Okay, let's get it. Oh, man, the range is expensive, man. Crawler. Crawler. Increase the movement speed. Let's do it. on the credits um let's get some more storm colors i guess and place this a little bit further back Go. Wow, nice work. Man, those crawlers are doing some work. I like the crawlers one more.
Man, whoever did the sound. Freaking top notch sound in this game, man. A <sighs> Ryan 5 crawler. Units equipped with this item obtain an energy that absorb damage equal to a unit's HP. Uh, increased equipped units HP by 30 and convert 9% of damage dealt to HP. Wow, I think all this seems freaking insane good. <sighs> think. We want to buy the fortress thing though. Let's try the absorption model. Okay, can we buy a war factory? Okay. <laughs> Damn. That's a big boy. <laughs> Holy crap, that's large. Um. I don't know you know what to place you, man. Should you be in the front? Should you be in the back? How much damage do you do? Can I see that someone? Attack 9000. Upkeep 200 per round? Units have upkeeps? What? No. No. This one is just special. Okay. We have a hundred credits left. Should we upgrade the snipers? Sure. HP by Is this it's a war factory? Does it produce units? Okay, let's give it this, see what happens. Okay, that's not how we do it, okay. Wait, can I not hold? Oh, the war factor cannot have stuff. Okay. Well, um, oh, you can see it like that. Okay. Oh, well. I just equipped them. So this is how much HP do you have? 29,000 and you have 26,000. Didn't this meant to decrease it? Attack units equipped with this item is increased by feedback while HP is. Oh, wait. What? The attack of units equipped with this item is increased by 50% while HP is increased by. Shouldn't be increased by fear and also HP is increased by 50%. While indicators is like it's a drawback, but it's not a drawback. Okay, well, let's figure it out. Out of my 8, 26,000, 29,000. That's not 30%. What? Or 50%? Oh, but this. Oh. Okay, whatever. 
This got a 30% bonus, it's got a 50% bonus. That's the difference. Okay, cool. We got flying tanks apparently now. Hell yeah. Oh. 56 points left. Okay, okay. I need some ground units. Yeah, let's just get some ground units. Um, Converge units with photon coding, decreasing damage received by 30%. Uh, oh, within 25 seconds of the start of the battle. Uh, trying to intercept enemy missiles. Okay. Let's just get production of units, man. Oh, you pick an upgrade and add upgrades go up. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Man, you guys get a promotion, man. Your guys are fucking amazing. Oh, man, he mirrored me. How daring. Level up. Give me stuff. I got tech point. Okay, let's see if can we modify these crawlers. I'm starting to love these crawlers, man. <laughs> um. No, I actually like them the way they are. I don't want any of these upgrades. Marksman, what can I get on those? Double shot, range. Um, multiple marksman attack speed at the cost of low damage. Can you not stop? Wait, multiples marksmen? Wait, electronic interference on hit, temporarily disabling the unit? Instead of temporarily, can't they disable it for a second, half a second, 0 0.1 second? I should be more specific, can't you? Um, 
Increase range. Attack. Per range. Per rank increased. What? That is freaking good. That is freaking good. Someone fight fangs? I'm liking the marksman thing here, man. Um, movement speed increased by three. Attack bring up thirty percent. Attack have an area damage, but the range reduced by seventy. No. Can I change the order of things? I can, maybe, actually. Um, oh, okay, you can, nice. Good UI thinking, I like it. <clears throat> okay, let's try... Normal AI. Okay, so we have rank two rhinos, three around four. Marksman and Tarant Tarantula? No, Tarantula. Um, aerial specialists. Arc light sledgehammer, no. Uh, obtain two and the first round. Not that interesting, to be honest. Get one rank free badger for free on round two. Man, I don't sure I liked any of these upgrades though. Hmm. Should we try the aerial units? Okay, you have shit tons of fangs and sledgehammers. Got it. Okay. Actually, these are slow. They should be probably up in the front a little bit. We can buy two units. I like the marks, man. We bought upgrade for we can or maybe we can use buy wasp instead. Do these have a movement? 16. I can be a little bit in the back then. Oh, left side, we're gonna get take a beating. on the marksman guy is going to be an issue, I think. Come on, fly faster. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the more swing thing is gonna be an issue. For sure. Damn, okay, okay, never mind. Hell yeah. Okay, okay, I'm digging, I'm digging. Um, immune to electric, no. Ooh. About to increase the Phoenix attack and HP. Uh, but we can get shit tons of them. Yeah, we're mass producing. Let's go. Network disconnect. No, come on, man. What the hell? I have internet. Yeah, stream is still online. Play offline, I guess. That's fine. I was playing. <laughs> Why did it interrupt me, man? It didn't affect the mode I was playing. Why? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, get one rank. I don't think they have some. They maybe it updated in something on the server or something. I guess. Ooh, rank three marksman for free to run. Let's get marksman up. Whoa. Okay. Um. Those are slow. Let's just put them back here. I have needs some sheep units now also. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. These are fast, right? Yeah, so I should get in front first. Okay, let's go. Split them up. Oh crap, he's also using crawlers. Nope. He has the number, sadly. There's no way. We can't even take out these crawlers before it's over. Wow, are you doing any damage? Wow, there's player perspective? That's freaking awesome. <laughs> what the hell does that thing do? What is that good at? What the hell is this guy good at? Seriously. Heavy unit equipped with two rapid fire cannons that can fight various enemies at medium range. Okay. Uh, attack 580. 
sniper attack. 2300. Oh, well, I guess he fires faster. Yeah, couldn't we get an upgrade that spawned? Hmm. How do we deal with a massive amount of units? Some missiles, maybe? Missiles... Um... I mean, air orc like we can do, but no, we don't like those. I feel like he has just way more units than me. Come on, take them out. Need more shit units, more uh, damage absorbers. Oh, we won that round? Okay, okay. Never mind, never mind. We got this, we got this. Uh. Short range flamethrower? Let's try it, why not? So when you get these, you also get that thing? Okay. I need more shit units. Well, it worked last time, so let's go again. Nah, nothing costs 50, right?
Did you also get flamethrowers? Oh crap, he did. Wow. It disappeared fast. On the other hand, maybe it was a good distraction, I guess. HP units equipped with this increased by 150%. Let me get one of those, man. What is a what is this thing? Sandworm? Let's get one of those. Wait, uh, I guess. 70,000 HP. <laughs> 143,000. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. Uh, what are you good at? Can I see that? Giant melee unit that burrows underground when moving, taking no damage while underground, and emerges from the underground while attacking. Okay, um, and the abilities you can get, what are those? Increase the unit's movement speeds. Sure. Destroy some crates for larvas, same rank as a salmon to continue fighting. Oh, that's if we die. We don't plan us not to die. Salmon at the minute restores 50% of H max HP per second when burrowing. Whoa. Give me that thing. Each time someone emerges from the ground, creates one larvas. I'm gonna get this upgrade, man. Holy crap. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out should it be an offense, super offensive thing or not. Let's try super offensive. 50 credits. Uh, I guess we can't get anything with that. Actually, we can. When can I use that one? Oh, the enemy has that ability? Oh, munchies. I like the worm. Where's the worm? Where's the worm? I, th I thought the worm was dead. It's like, no way in hell, man. He doesn't not even escape. That's fine. I guess the worm has problem yes flying. Damn, good work, worm. Give me that upgrade. Um, we probably should get something against air. Air and ground, ground only, ground only, air and ground. Long, large support vehicle. 
Uh, multiple missile launchers can provide various tactical support to surrounding units. Let's go with the Overlord. I believe in that. First, you're gonna get... Oh, you can get an upgrade? Well, let's get an upgrade first, then. Actually, you know, the healing port, we don't need that yet. Okay, what can we get here? Um... Produces four wasp. Yeah, let's do that. Upgrade all the snipers. More crawlers or more snipers? More crawlers. We need sheep units. Oh, look here, here. Is that a good thing? What is that? Heavy melee bot. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. Let's not, let's not do that. Where do we need melee units? Just in the middle. Let's just go middle. Anything we can upgrade you, I guess. You cannot. These never get an XP, apparently. Um. Come on, kill something. Get some XP, man. Enemy's really pushing hard on the left side, I'm pushing hard on the right side, I guess that's fine. Damn, nice, okay. Uh, decrease the tech upgrade cost of all units? Oh, tech upgrades. Uh, increase the HP of all units by 30%. Damn, how are you doing, man? 31k HP. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <clears throat> I think, don't think he's gonna die in the first place. Upgrade all rangers or uh, marksmen. I think that's pretty good. I mean, they're doing some real good work. Uh, this one. Nope, we need to build some units. Let's build another one of these, I guess. Let's place one over here. What else do we need? More used tank units, I assume. Let's get acid upgrades. Maybe they can actually kill something once. Well, the money disappears fast, man.
Will the acid boys destroy something this round? Maybe? Actually looks like they're winning for the first time. Nice. I think they should uh, do a summary after each uh, round. That would be nice. Nice. Cool. I'm gonna do it hard and insane later on, but apparently voice is disappearing almost. Um. But yeah, we just wanted to test the game out, and so far I freaking love the game, man. Um, I can see if uh, we can't see anything offline mode. See if we can exit the game and maybe come back. See if that helps anything. Um, dun, 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 dun. update. There's a bug fix today, apparently. Memory leaks, okay. Uh, errors issued in the community challenge. Uh, fixing a large amount of unit skins could cause survival mode to crash. Okay. Let's check the game out on Steam. Say what it's Oh, Sandworm, I fucking love you, buddy. Very positive, 85%. 10,000 reviews. Nice. Real nice. Uh, came out um, a month ago, let's say that. 15 bucks. Engage in a deep tactical war game. Outthink. Outplay. Out now. Deploy a diverse array of units. Then customize, upgrade, and command them. Always stay ahead and anticipate your opponent's strategy to counter their next move and crush your foes. Four? What? Okay. Mechabellum. Play on now on Steam. Paradox Arc and Game River. Hey, game is fucking awesome. Welcome to the war zone, Commander. First, you must set up your strategy wisely and adjust your tactics for each round. And never give your opponent the upper hand. Good luck out there. Cool. Really like the game, man. Really enjoyable. We're going to test the PvP mode later on, though, but we just need to learn the game mechanics, the basic stuff first. Learn the units. It's going to be a handful to learn a lot of the basic units and what they do and what they're good against, what counter what, and so on. But I guess that's the fun part of the game. People seem to be really enjoying it, so... What I played so far, really recommend it. Go check it out, man. Go check it out. Now, we're probably going to end the stream here. We've been streaming for 10 hours. And I need to get, do, get some food and do some other stuff. So, we're going to put on some music. And then we go raid somebody. Thanks for being here. Have a freaking amazing day. Whatever you're going to do. Maybe go check out my cabal. Who knows? 
Let's find some good music and uh, gonna go raid somebody. What music should we go out to? Some normal music. You know what? I'll figure that out. Take care. I fucking love you. Have an amazing day. I'm out of here.